Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Frostpunk. In the last city on Earth, we have heat generating. Probably a little bit more down here than I really need. I actually could probably turn this off. Uh, and we actually are going to do that. I don't think I need this on right now. We're still pretty comfortable in terms of temperature, except... Oh, well, now I take that back. There's one set of tents down here that's still pretty warm. Uh, okay, I guess we'll go ahead and keep that warm. That's a lot of coal to be spending to keep just a couple people there, but we can't afford to get more people sick right now. Good news is we're almost ready to pass a new law, which will be great. We also have our uh, scouts approaching a steel bridge, and I already know what they're going to find here, so this is going to be pretty exciting. I can show you guys something in a minute. New event, first amputation. To save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. All right. Well, if we could go for a care house or a prosthetics law, maybe we could do something about it. There's nothing to do at the moment, though, and we don't even have the ability to do another law. So we'll have to wait for now. Um, I do want to assign people here to the sawmill. Why do we not have a street here yet? I don't think we actually connected this quite right. So let's do that. And that should happen immediately. There we go. Okay. Now we should be connected. Now we can have some steady food production. Uh, sorry, not food. Uh, wood production. That's what I'm going for. Scouts. A brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, built by the people of Winterhome in AD 1887. The bridge is kept completely snow-free by a working automaton. Explore. There it is. It's the automaton. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so with the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Send it back, gain an automaton, dismantle it, get some steel and steam cores. No, 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 no. I want the automaton. We reprogrammed the automaton and sent it on its way. As it disappeared in the distance, walking steadily towards our city, the first wisps of snow started to settle on the bridge. So what is an automaton? Well, an automaton runs an entire building by itself, like our sawmill. It'll run the whole thing on its own. It basically works as if it were ten workers. The only downside is instead of eating food, it has to use up some coal every once in a while. But still, it's a great way to buffer up our worker count. And this is one of the reasons we wanted to have child engineers instead of workers. Because I figure that engineers and stuff like that being more effective in those roles is a better long-term strategy. Because we can build more automatons later to get workers, but it's hard to get new engineers. So anything that makes them more effective, the few that we have, is going to work well for me. Now we can move on to either the weather station or a large convoy. I'm going to go to a large convoy because I'm hoping we find some more survivors that we can send back. And I do have the space to uh, actually place down some more tents and stuff if we want. Deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to Winterhome proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. Hope falls slightly. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of a problem. All right, poor amputee. We have one at the moment. So he's just now kind of a burden on the state for the time being, but... Oh, well. Hey, this still doesn't have a street. What are you talking about? I thought it had a street. All right, fine. We'll do that. How's that? Is that better? You happy? Can we go for a law? Yes. Law. We are going to go for extra rations for the ill and sign that. We don't have a whole lot of food. I may actually need to get a second hunter's lodge soon because we're not keeping up on this right now. But let's go to our medical post. We are going to pass the ability for 10, or sorry, for one day. We use up an extra 10 food rations to try and help these guys heal up a lot faster. That's going to be the idea. Let's get ourselves a second Hunter's Lodge, because we're definitely not getting enough. Uh, I could place it over here, I guess. Can't place it right here, because the Steam Core is in the way. That's fine, though. I guess we'll just go ahead and do this. Sure. Another Hunter's Lodge right there. Get some more food. Can I get some more food, too? Look how pale I am. Yeah, Abby, you look pretty terrible, but whatever. We need to get them well faster. We need them. Yes. Silas has the right idea, Abby. Selfish little jerk. Alright. Yeah, we actually don't have nearly enough food. I'm a little concerned about this. <laughs> One thing going wrong, and all of a sudden... Maybe using it on these guys wasn't the right idea. But we need to get these guys out of here. I don't want these guys falling gravely ill, you know? Alright. Alright. Um, are we keeping up on coal production? It doesn't feel like we are. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um... We have 30 people gathering coal at the moment. 30. It'll be easier once we have an automaton to try and take uh, free up some workers, I guess. That'll make things a little bit better. Hmm. 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm a little concerned. We're, we're definitely still not out of the woods. How's the temperature looking? So far, so good. Um, using this extra steam core is making things hard. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Just for now. There we go. Save a little bit of coal because we're using it up too much. It's only one tenth being affected at the moment, so I think we'll be all right. Uh, we do expect the temperature to drop again in a couple of days. So we'll need to be prepared for that. We can go ahead and assign some more people to this. We have engineers currently available. What are my engineers all doing? Okay, we need to have the engineers go gather, let's say, some metal scrap. One, two, three, four, five. Put the engineers here. Put you guys here. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pull the rest of the workers off this and have them go work here as well. 15 food per day right now is the best we can hope for. When the automaton arrives, I think we can afford to uh, free up a few more. You can see the snow starting to build up down here again already, though. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. I love this. I love this game. It's so good. Let's go ahead and just finish up that street because I, I like to do that. Okay, speed her up. Uh, if we can return with some workers, we'll get some more food. We probably do need to do that soon. Very soon, in fact. We need to have the uh, scouts return so we can try getting some more food in here. All right. All right, go forth. It is 8 o'clock. Now we're starting to produce some more coal again. So we'll start refilling our stockpiles best we can. If I built a gathering hut out here, this might be more effective. I think we're all right, though, at least for the time being. This street is kind of just a waste of space. Sawmill is only working at 60% because a bunch of people are sick. Yeah, um... Faster gathering has been researched. Okay, what else can we research? Steelworks, coal thumper. No new heat, no new food. We could go for this. Alternatively, we can go to the drawing boards and start unlocking new technology. Um, the hothouse would be good to produce more food. More scouts. More heat. If we could do that before the next um, drop in temperature, that would be nice. I'm trying to decide, do we need a coal thumper right now? Probably not. Do we need a steelworks right now? Probably not. So we're going to go to the drawing boards. Ah, I need 50 wood for that. Eck. All right. We'll wait, but I think we're going to go to the drawing boards and we're going to try to make that more effective. Uh, sorry, try to get some new technology unlocked. Scouts have reached the large convoy. Okay, what do we got? Survivors, explore. The workers who were riding in this convoy told us that they were heading for the city of Winterholm. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up, they say. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. We are going to escort these guys back to the city. That also means we are going... Oh, wow, lots of workers and engineers. That's great. We're also going to get our uh, wood, our food, and our steam cores delivered as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure that no one dies on the way. It's going to be another 20 hours, but that's a bunch of new people. And if we can't go to the weather station, this continues our main quest. I also wouldn't mind getting a second set of um, uh, scouts so we can start exploring some of the other things that are close by. But for now, that's going to have to wait. No one gravely ill that's missing out. Uh, don't need a cookhouse. Don't need a medical post. Don't need any of that. These are all looking okay for the time being. All right. All right. So we don't need to build anything new. We just need to gather up the resources that we currently have. We could tell our engineers to go do something else that's useful instead. Wouldn't be such a bad idea. Only 80% efficiency here. It is currently producing just a few per hour. It's not a lot, but... Eh. Maybe it'll be enough. Maybe it won't. Guess we're going to find out. 50 wood. We can go to the drawing board now. Let's go ahead and do that. Upgrade. New tier of technology will soon be available. Again, I'm really trying to push for a technological superiority as our method of surviving this game. It's a different strategy, but maybe it'll work. Maybe, just maybe, it will work. We have to have people cook tonight as well. Uh, actually, something we need to keep in mind. Let's um, pull the engineers off this and have them go cook for a little bit, use up the rations. I don't think we're going to have enough to get through the next day. So we need to do this. We need to do this. Um, so yeah, reduced efficiency for coal production because people are sick. Eesh. Okay, that's already the end of the shift. But we've used up all of our food. So there we go. We can pull off the engineers there. Um, and we'll have them continue gathering up some metal scraps, I guess. Ah, oh boy. Okay. I need to free up workers to get more raw food. So we're going to have to get some off of that. Um, it's a lot less wood production, but I think it's going to be okay. At least for the time being. The automaton is very slow. It's going to be another 20 hours before this thing arrives. I really would like that so I can free up some workers. But the good news is in 10 hours we're going to have a whole bunch of new workers arrive. 
regardless, so that's fine. We can, in preparation, start getting some new tents. And I guess we will probably do that. One. Two, I guess, is the best I can do. We're going to go ahead and cancel this. See if I can move it slightly closer. No, there's no way it's going to be in the range of the fighting pit. That was my hope, but oh well. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, eventually, we'll be able to upgrade these to bunkhouses, and they'll have much better um, thermal insulation, which will be great, because that makes it less likely people get sick. All right, how's the temperature right now? Uh, a little chilly in these areas, but no one's living there, I hope. The cookhouse is cold, but no one's working there, so that's fine. Sawmill, we could turn on a heater when people are working there, and that reduces the likelihood of people getting sick. We are almost completely out of food, but in a few hours, some more will arrive. By the time the next work shift starts, there will be some food soon, so... Eh. Here's hoping it works out. Still sort of keeping on track with our sick. Not great, but we're, we're getting there. Uh, we really just need people to stop getting sick in the first place. That's what we need. Yeah, alright. We'll get there. Uh, pretty soon we'll want to build a care house, I think. That will make things easier. Easier to maintain the gravely ill. I don't like how, by the way, like, once it gets to 5 a.m., you were going at faster game speed and it automatically goes down to normal. I don't know why they do that. It's fine, though. It's fine. Okay. Um, we do have a couple of days, and then it will get cold again. So we'll want to have the heat generator upgrade by then to increase our range. Or at least increase our efficiency. Here comes some more food, wood, and more workers. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's turn on the heater here. Whoop, nope. Heater here. Increase the number of workers. We're already maxing out our food production. Uh, temperature-wise, don't need the cookhouse. Everything else here is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this, uh, steam core now. Let's get a little bit of extra coal production. Do we have another use for more engineers? We will when we have more medical technology, but for now I guess we can max them out with this. Let's go ahead and get a bit more, uh, metal production. Uh, we still have 12 workers and 9 engineers unemployed. Not a lot else to do, though. Let's max this out. We need to build some stuff. That's what we need to do. Well, okay, we need to get some more tents at the very least, so let's do that. Tents around the shelter here would be good. Close to the steam core, preferably. Um, I don't want to mess this up from the road. So we place here, here, here. That would work. Place one here and one here. Okay. That should fix most of our housing issues while still being close to the heat and close to a fighting arena, so that reduces discontent. So that'll be good. Uh, we have some raw food production available. Let's go ahead and max that out for now. Actually, I'll just have the engineers do it. Use that for a little while. Um, Heating-wise, we're looking pretty good. Gathering huts would make this a little easier to gather this stuff without people getting sick. Drawing boards have been researched. Good. Okay. We could go for some upgrades. A hothouse to produce more food would be nice. Medical post uh, upgrade would be good. They heal 10% faster. <sighs> Bunkhouse, better insulation would be really good. More scouts. Yeah. Generator power upgrade. Coal consumption is doubled, but we raise the temperature a lot. Or we could raise the generator range, which is also good. Let me think for a second. We have a little bit of time. Not a lot, but a little bit. It's going to take eight hours to research both of these. Scouts would be good. Resources, yes. Food and health. Medical post. We need people working is the thing. But if I upgraded bunkhouses, that would be a good use of our resources and would reduce the number of people getting sick in the first place. Which is really, really good. This also works really well, but the better um, insulation means we don't need as much heating from our generator. So you know what? I'm going to go for the bunkhouse. I think that makes sense. Let's go ahead and research it. It will be great. Um, soon we will want to consider getting some steel production through a steel mill. Uh, we're sort of okay on coal, but it's getting kind of close. So we need to be cautious about that as well. Let's get ourselves another set of tents right here. Okay, that's the best I can do as far as housing. 
Uh, yeah, we'll get the bunkhouses, and then I think we have to go for steel production, because we're gonna run out. We only have one source left, and it only has 34 left here. Alright, we're back at our city, which means we can do some more, uh, exploration. We could go to the weather station, um, instead I'm gonna go to the observatory, see if we can discover anything useful there. Five more hours until the automaton arrives. New law. Let's go for something. Care house would be nice. Um, dueling law allows people to get rid of a lot of their aggression by fighting each other. Sometimes people die. Public house? A pub? That would let people uh, be happier. Um, but I kind of feel like a care house might be better to try and free up some more health care. We're going to go for the care house. Okay, new thing to build. Health, care house. It's pretty big. Um, what's your heat insulation? Two? Okay. Could place it right here. And that actually has enough space for something else. Yes. Good. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and build that there. I kinda wanna have this stuff, um, divided up by, like, a housing district and manufacturing industrial districts. Because there are different types of buildings that will make areas more effective, uh, based on their surroundings. Like this fighting pit, you know? So, I like, I like trying to uh, divide divide and conquer a little bit if I can. I think that's a little bit better. Alright, so we're starting... Uh, we have a person who's still homeless. We're working on that. We don't have anyone else who's sick at the moment. That's good. We have some people who are hungry. Um, we need to have another person working here. We don't have any more engineers. Ah, that's my problem. Okay. Care house promise has been fulfilled. Hope rises. Excellent. Okay, so that's now built. Now, we don't have to have anyone working here, it looks like. Which is interesting. So that just reduces the stress on my medical posts quite a bit. Good. I like that a lot. Coal pile depleted. This one up here. Man, we're gonna need a coal thumper soon, too. Okay. Um, we're maxed out on both coal stockpiles. Ah. Alright. Well, since we have nothing to do with these guys, let's go for a sawmill. We'll place it out over here, I think. Maybe? Right here's okay, because we're going to have to build some steel stuff here later anyway. Uh, alternatively, we could do something like this. I don't want it to destroy any resources, though. Could do that. And later we'll have to destroy it, so that'll be alright. For now, we can do it. Let's go ahead and get a street going like so. Okay. I think there's a way to demolish streets. I really hope there's a way to demolish streets. A uh, lot of people hungry. Yeah, but we have some food rations. So if you're hungry, go get some food. We have food. Okay? I haven't failed that horribly. Bunkhouse researched. Now is the time to start upgrading. Technology. Medical post upgrade. I think we're okay on that now. We need to get things like steel and coal. If we run out of coal, we die. If we run out of steel, we can't upgrade things. Steel for now. I think we're okay enough on coal. The automaton's almost here. Um, new thing we can build is the bunkhouse. We can start upgrading. Now, if we click on this, we can actually just click on things, and it automatically upgrades them. I think I'll start with the stuff that's furthest away. Well, wait. These are already surrounded by a steam core, so we're okay there. This is not, though. Oh, you know what? Let's go for this. We'll do one here. 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 Um, and then... It really doesn't matter. We have everyone else surrounded by a steam core. Let's just do that for now. Some people will be homeless while we do the upgrades. We have enough unemployed people that they should be able to build this stuff pretty quick. Um, but this will be a heck of a lot better. Much less likely to get sick. Means it's easy to stay on top of things. We only have five people currently being treated. I'm going to pull people out of this. And every all the patients can move over to this medical post. And that will free up a few more engineers. More coal has been depleted. Okay, now I'm starting to get nervous. Now I'm starting to feel real nervous. Um. Uh oh. Automaton's here! Hey yo! Is the automaton! Whee! <sighs> um. I mean, that's pretty cool, you have to admit. You gotta love steampunk automatons. If we don't get more coal, we're screwed. Can I have an automaton work the coal mines? No, we don't have the tech for that. Um. I could have the automaton work the sawmills, I think. The automaton will use up a lot of coal is the problem. 
Using automatons. Our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel the generator. We can research upgrades to re uh, raise our efficiency and capability. That sounds good, um, but for now, I think if we continue upgrading some stuff here, we can try to turn off one of these steam cores, or hubs, I mean to say. And that would save me some much needed coal. We're going to upgrade those next. We're almost out of steel. There's our automaton. Um, what do I want to do with you? I guess we could have them work at the sawmill once that's done. Uh, everyone, please rebuild your homes, because I tore them all down. Thank you. What else are we doing as far as coal? Um, turn that off. How cold are these guys going to get? Pretty cold, but I think we need to save some coal. Well, no. You know what? No. We'll leave it on. I think we actually are going to have enough time to research both the steel mill uh, and the uh, coal thumper. Before this becomes a problem, the cold's going to hit, but at least we can start upgrading things to a bunkhouse. The automaton's looking great. Hi. It's called the King's Laplander. That's a cool name. Let's have the automaton work here at the sawmill. It's cold out here, but the uh, automaton doesn't care. That way we can save some coal. Okay. I like how it just steps around the buildings very gingerly. It's like, oh, ah, I don't want to step on you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, please don't bother me. I'm okay. I'm not going to squish you little peoples. All right. Temperature-wise, yeah, these bunkhouses are nice and comfortable. A little bit of extra insulation goes a long way. What are you doing? Whoa. What are you doing? Can you build? Oh, my gosh. The automaton can build things. I didn't know that. Oh, that looks awesome. Sweet. And here it goes to build something else, I think. Either that or it's recharging. No, it says it's going to work. Whoa. That just doesn't seem safe, though. I'm just going to say. That does not seem safe at all. All right, we have very little food production. This is a huge problem. I can't keep up. We need all of the things, everything. We'll figure it out, but man, we do still have two hunter's huts going out and gathering. We should be getting 40 food every day, which I can turn into, let's see, divide that by 20, multiply by 100 rations. We should be able to get 100 rations a day. And yet somehow it feels like I'm not getting that much. I don't know. Okay, we have some, a couple of people getting sick again. Um, I could turn this on, and I guess we will since the engineers are doing nothing. So let's go ahead and treat them. Hot house, or the cookhouse here, there's nothing else to make. Um, let's go ahead and have just regular workers do that. I would love to get another scouting party. That would be helpful. And we are once again having way too many people sick. Okay. 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 Uh, more housing. Bunkhouse. Let's upgrade this one next. Just use up all of our steel, whatever we can. I hope we have just enough steel. Wait. Can I cancel this upgrade? Cancel the upgrade. I don't know if we need any steel in order to build a steel mill. You can check that. Costs wood. Coal thumper, wood. Okay, we actually are okay in terms of steel at the moment. Never mind. We can do that safely. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna run out. So that's good. Uh, the automaton is working around the clock, producing more wood, 4.8 per hour, saving myself some uh, work. That is good. Um, let's speed up. Go to speed three. Bunch of people sick again. Scouts have reached the observatory. What do we find? Survivors. Uh oh. Can I afford that? The sun is dim dimming. What really? Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explained that they came here for help, but found everyone dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. All right, we can get a few more people and escort them. I'm actually going to send them. Well... I think most of them are going to make it fine. We actually don't need a whole lot more people. What we do need to do is continue exploring and find resources, because right now I'm really running low. Um, we can't really afford a lot more people in terms of food at the moment. But we'll see. Coal pile depleted. That is it. That is all of the coal. Well, nope. I take that back. There's more coal right here. Okay. What else am I missing? 
Are there more resources? Frozen trees. Trees, trees. That's it. That's the last coal pile. Okay. Steel wreckage has officially been depleted. Okay, but we're about to finish. Good, we can build a steel mill. Let's get a coal thumper. Do that next. Resources, steelworks. Okay, now this has to be placed in a certain location over here. There can be two next to each other, and that's kind of it. Okay, so if we have to do this, uh, we'll place one right here. I'm actually debating building two. We can afford that. We have plenty of workers, so let's do it. We're going to build two there. We need to get a street. Um, I will build a street from... Probably here. This should be fine. And then we'll build out to this, like so. Okay. So let's have these people work on that. The uh, automaton is recharging at my steel uh, steam hub right here. That's pretty cool. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're kind of out of materials for a bit. Nothing else to work on here with the cookhouse, but that's fine. They can go build things. Whenever food comes in, I want them to immediately cook it. We only have a handful of rations. Steel is all we need to continue upgrading the bunkhouses before it gets really, really cold. And that's good, because right now people are living fairly comfortably. So yeah, let's get both of those operating as quick as we please. Let's speed up time. A uh, new thing here, a note of thanks. Someone has left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you. With all the work we have to do, it's so hard for families to properly care for the invalid. Places like this make life a little easier for us all. I am glad I could help. Hope rises. People are feeling very hopeful right now because we've survived this long. This is good. We could start working on some new stockpiles, but I'm not sure I see the point. We could go for another sawmill. And I'm going to, simply because we have nothing to do with all these workers, so we might as well start producing more resources. Um, what I actually may want to do is... We'll get a street out this way. Now nah, we'll just go ahead and do it like this. This should be fine. Okay, there we go. Get a street, more sawmills, more wood production. Coal thumpers are on the way. It's not even going to take that long. We're researching very quickly thanks to having both of these workhouses and the children. So we're actually, I think, a little bit ahead of the curve in terms of technology right now. We just need to keep upgrading all of this stuff. And for that to work, we just need to finish building out the steelworks, which here it comes. Whoop, what's this? Coal thumpers. Good. So now we can build a coal thumper as well. I'm just going to go ahead and place one right here. No reason why not. Let's do it. Uh, let's assign, let's say, I don't know, engineers over here. We can turn on the heater so that people don't get too sick. Let's assign some workers here. Turn on the heater. And the coal thumper's on its way. This should produce a pretty good amount of heat. Um, coal. Turn that on only when people are there during the working hours. Boom. Okay, so now I think we've more or less dealt with a lot of our... Re um, a lot of our resource problems. We do need to research some new technology. Now could be a good time to go for some extra heat. The range upgrade sounds pretty good if we had some steel. Uh, I do think instead we're going to go for... Yikes, there's actually a lot of really good options here. A hothouse. That requires a steam core to build them. That would make sense because we're running out of food and I really do need more food production. So I think a hothouse is actually probably a really good choice. Uh, it's about to get really cold, though. But I think we can survive it if we can get enough steel to actually start upgrading the rest of these houses. And we do have these steam hubs already. And we have only a few hours until some new people arrive and we have to build even more of these. So really, we just need to get all this uh, all the steel together. I think we're going to have to go for a hot house. Otherwise, we're not going to have enough food to sustain. We'll see if that works. Thank you all very much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so... Then I hope you will hit that uh, like button. Of course, leave a, a comment showing your support with your suggestions. And hit that subscribe button if you have not already. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time.